to show you how to screw in a light bulb and other uses for the right hand rule. To use the right hand rule, you first have to find your right hand. To find your right hand, look for the L for your left hand. This is an L. This is my left hand. This is not an L. It's a backwards L. This is my right hand. Now that you have found your right hand, you are ready to use the right hand rule. To use the right hand rule, point your thumb in the direction you want the light bulb to go. Then curl your fingers and that is the direction that you twist the light bulb in. So if I wanted the light bulb to go this way, I would twist the light bulb this way with my f because my fingers are pointing in that direction. Now that you have learned the, light, the right hand rule, you can apply it by screwing in a light bulb. This is a light bulb. It has threads. You will use your thumb and point in the direction that you want your, your light bulb to go. In this case, in this light bulb socket. So I point in and twist my fingers in the way, and that is the way that I screw it so the threads will go into the light bulb socket and the light bulb will be screwed in. This is how to screw in a light bulb. Now that we have learned just how to screw in a light bulb, you have to learn how to unscrew a light bulb in case you are changing it. It is the same exact rule for this, except you have to point your thumb in the other direction. This, is, this also applies because you are pointing in the direction you want the light bulb to go. You curl your fingers, and that is the direction you twist to unscrew it. Now that we have successfully unscrewed the light bulb, the right hand rule applies to many things in our daily lives. For example, this milk jug and peanut butter. The same rule applies. Just point in the direction you want the cap to go, twist your fingers, and that is the direction that you will twist the cap in. Now that, now that we have done our milk, we can do the same thing for our peanut butter. and the other way around. Remember, just point your thumb in the direction that you want the cap or other, other um, thing to go in and screw it on because of the direction that your fingers are pointing. Thank you. Now that you've become an expert on the right hand rule, we can start applying more specific tasks, like screwing a nut onto a bolt. The same rule applies. Take your thumb, point in the direction, twist your, curl your fingers, and that is the direction that you want to twist it in. So, twist it on. Congratulations, you have twisted a nut onto a bolt. The bolt can also go into the nut using the same rule. Point your thumb, curl your fingers, and twist in that direction. Notice that I am keeping the nut steady and moving the bolt this time. Congratulations, you have screwed a bolt into a nut. The right hand rule also applies to something as simple as a clown. You point your thumb in the direction that you want the clamp to go. In this case, if you want to close it, you want this part to go in to close. Curl your fingers and twist the thing. Notice that it is closing. Now that you have closed it, you need to be able to unclose it or open it. Point your thumb in the direction that you want it to go, in this case, out, so it opens. Curl your fingers and twist in this direction. Notice that it is opening. The right hand rule can also be applied to something as hard as woodworking. Take your 
wood screw. Take your screwdriver. Now use the right hand rule to get your wood screw into the wood. Point your thumb down, curl your fingers. In the direction that your fingers are pointing, turn this. Turn the screw this way. This is how to screw in a wood screw with the right hand rule. Thank you for your time and I hope this lesson was of use to you.